So it's my pleasure really to be here. This conference, first time for me, in the ITS. Uh, this year in Madeira, beautiful island, second time I'm here. And it's a marvelous island. I hope you will have time to enjoy it in the free time that you will have uh, during these uh, three or four days, depending on how long you will stay. It's an uh, additional pleasure for me to talk about a topic on which I have been involved for many years, and a topic that uh, really enthusiasms me, which is the protection of vulnerable road users. So this is the, the title that I chose for this uh, keynote, Enhanced Protection of Vulnerable Road Users. And this is the layout of the presentation, uh, the, uh, yeah, the content that I'm going to follow. If I had to summarize in a few words what we are doing and what we, what we want to achieve is very simple. We want to develop better protection systems for vulnerable road users. In order to do that, it's important to perceive pedestrians and cyclists, this is what we consider by vulnerable road users, around your vehicle, and try to make sense of the way they move, the activity that they are doing, and what the next movements or the next trajectory is expected to be, let's say, one second ahead, something like that, in order to better react to the different movements around your ego vehicle. If you are uh, capable of gathering this kind of information, your protection system will be much more effective, much more intelligent. It will be much, you will have much better chance to do something meaningful regarding pedestrians and cyclists around you. So, let me start by the motivation. Uh, the first thing I want to do is that getting to understand the intention of any observed agent around you, in this case, vulnerable users, is interesting not only for the automotive, it's interesting in a number of different research topics, like, for example, in robotics, it's very important, as well as in surveillance systems, in human machine interaction, HMI, in order to establish a better dialogue between the human and the machine, gaming theory, and of course, in the topic that brings me here today on intelligent vehicles. It's really, really important. And also for the automotive, as I'm going to demonstrate in the next uh, minutes. If we talk about how to predict the path of pedestrians or uh, cyclists, the history of cyclists. This is what I remember, I, what we call vulnerable road users. A, a very important point is that if you are able to recognize what the pedestrian or cyclist is doing, I mean, what kind of activity is doing, if the pedestrian walking is simply standing, is starting to walk, or is starting to stop, is stopping, for example, is bending in, or in the case of cyclists, is the cyclist bending 